What is simple random sampling? Advantage and disadvantage of simple random sampling? Welcome to our discussion on simple random sampling, an important statistical tool. Simple random sampling is a technique used in statistics and research to select a subset of individuals or objects from a larger population. It is a type of probability sampling where each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected for the sample. This method is widely used in statistical research. It produces unbiased results since every member has equal chances of being selected. Thus, the findings can be generalized to the entire population with reasonable accuracy. The process of simple random sampling involves several steps. First, the population must be defined and identified. This could be a group of people, animals, objects, or any other defined group that is being studied. Next, a sample size must be determined. This is the number of individuals or objects that will be included in the sample. The larger the sample size, the more representative the sample will be of the population as a whole. Once the population and sample size have been determined, the actual sampling process can begin. This involves selecting individuals or objects from the population at random. This can be done in several ways, such as by using a random number generator or by drawing names out of a hat. The key is that each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. One of the primary advantages of simple random sampling is its simplicity. It does not require any specialized knowledge or equipment, and can be done quickly and inexpensively. This makes it a popular choice for many types of research studies. Another advantage is that it removes selection bias. Since the selection process is completely random, it eliminates the possibility of human bias influencing the results. It ensures the sample represents the whole population, providing a solid foundation for analysis. However, simple random sampling also has its disadvantages. It can be a costly and time-consuming process. If the population is dispersed geographically, collecting data can be challenging and expensive. This factor can limit the efficiency of this method. Another downside is the risk of sampling errors. Although every member has an equal chance of being selected, it doesn't guarantee that the sample will always accurately represent the population. If the sample is not representative, the results could be misleading. Moreover, simple random sampling requires a complete list of all population members, which is often hard to obtain. It's not always feasible to have an accurate list of all members, especially for larger populations. This can be a major limitation in certain research scenarios. Despite these drawbacks, simple random sampling is still widely used. Its simplicity, ease of implementation, and ability to eliminate selection bias make it a powerful tool in research. However, whether to use this method or not depends on your specific research goals, resources, and the nature of the population. It's always important to consider these factors before deciding on a sampling method. In conclusion, simple random sampling is a technique that allows for unbiased data collection by giving each member of a population an equal chance of being selected. Despite its limitations, its benefits make it a widely used method in statistical research. Remember, no research method is perfect. Each has its pros and cons. The key is to understand these and make the most informed decision for your research. Thank you for joining us in this discussion on simple random sampling. Stay tuned for more informative discussions on statistical methods.